Hello everybody, welcome back to a very late edition of Retro Gaming Revisited. I say it's late because I'm recording this at half past one in the morning. I've spent the last five hours trying to get this new laptop, well it's not new new but it's new to me, um, trying to get it to work with debut which is what I'm using to record this. I went from Windows 7 to 10, did a test run with the last video, seems to be recording okay, audio seems alright, so fingers crossed that this has worked and that if it's worked you're watching this, great. So first things first, there's going to be a few changes to the channel. This is the RGR Championship, uh, it was made when the channel was born. Uh, just as a bit of fun for me and my friends, something to fight over on those versus videos. It's just a piece of plastic on a WWE uh, belt. It's actually the US, the US Championship under there. Yeah. Okay. So what we've done, or what rather what I'm going to do is I'm going to employ my cosplay creative talents, and uh, I'm going to create a new face, a new face plate for the belt. I'm going to take this off and put an uh, actual mold some foam face plate so it, it looks more legit because although that looks kind of cool it's not really you know it's not really worth it you know let's be honest so anyway this belt that i've successfully defended all bar one occasion uh is going to be retired technically so that's the last we're going to see of that one speaking of which uh, there's going to be lots more content coming out. There's, uh, we've got more games to play on the Xbox, PlayStation 2, and uh, I managed to get my N64 working. Uh, the short story is that when I moved out of my parents' place, my N64 was working fine. There was no problems with it. When I moved into my flat and I got it out of storage, uh, for some reason it didn't work. I couldn't work how it was. I changed. I checked everything from the fuses to the connections. Nothing. So I thought. I thought it was broken. Uh, went back into storage. Uh, recently, uh, my future brother-in-law Luke. I'll just just Luke from now on. I think uh, he lent me his N64. It was great. I mean, I but I only had half my games. I, when I unpacked the box, I only had half the games, which means the rest of them were back in the lockup. So I went down to lock up, got my N64, because I have extra controllers as well. I got it, and my console was in there, the N64 console. The power supply unit that I had before wasn't with it. So I tested my console with Luke's power supply for his one, and it worked. So the console wasn't dead, it was probably something to do with the power supply being busted or something. Whatever it was, it worked. Um, so I'm really happy about that. My console's working again. It's always nice when you when something you've had for so so long, you think, oh man, it's broken. You know, I'm gonna have to throw it out, or salvage it for parts. And when it comes back to life, you know, you have a sort of resurrection moment. It's just, you know, it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, so we're gonna be playing lots of lots of uh, N64 games uh, in the future. Um, I can name a few of them: uh, Duke Nukem 64. Uh, oh man, Mario Kart, Snowboard Kids, Mario 64, um, GoldenEye. Although I'm not sure if we're going to do GoldenEye, seeing as we've got you know Call of Duty and a lot of others, we might do it for just for fun, shits and giggles. Perfect Dark. Um, I went on eBay and got a few games as well for like a pound, uh, which which was you know pretty cool because these games I used to play and I was like, oh man. You know, that'd be great if I actually had a copy. So I've got a few games. We've got a few sports games as well. Mario Tennis, ISS 64, FIFA 98 is on its way. So there's, there's going to be a lot more content. There's going to be more coming out. Um, I've done a few new logos for the channel. Uh, the, the original logo done by Natalie, uh, my friend Natalie, uh, she she done the original logo. I tweaked it a little bit by adding stuff to it. Because uh, you know, poor kid, you know, she's busy at university. She doesn't need 
uh, me, you know, oh, can you do this or can you do that? Can you make this? Can you make that? So I, I found a program that was very easy to use called Photoscape. Um, it's a free download. It's very, very good. I can't recommend it anymore. If you're not, if you're not, if you're like me and you don't know the first thing about uh, graphical, you know, um, creativity, you know, I mean, I struggle with Microsoft Paint. So, uh, you know, this thing kind of helps you. It kind of holds your hand. It helps you along. It's very easy. There's like there's a button that you know, add a photo here, add text here. You know, it's 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 nice. Photoscape. Um, that's what I used to make the title cards. So I've made a few new ones. Uh, I'm gonna pitch it out to the Facebook, the Facebook group. And I'm gonna see get people's you know what they what they like and what they don't like. I already did that earlier on, so I know which two I'm gonna pitch because I had I had six initially down to four which I pitched yesterday, and because it is yesterday because it's one thirty in the morning, uh, and yeah so there you go. Um, I am rambling and I am sorry because it, it's late. I've been playing catch up with sleep for days. Uh, Sunday gone. I stayed up and watched the Royal Rumble. So I was up from Sunday morning, eleven, uh, no, nine a.m. Sunday morning till Monday afternoon, about three p.m. when I finally went to sleep. Uh, so I was up for well over, you know, twenty-four hours. Um, that I had work the next day, so you know, go figure. But it was fun. Uh, it was a great Royal Rumble. One, definitely one of the best in years. I mean, it, this was my favorite event in the WWE, and they just ruined it over the last few years. It's great when you see like Diesel come back or you know DDP, you know the the classic guys. But I mean, they're not going to win it. You know, I mean, it'd be nice if they did, but they're not going to win the Rumble because they're not going to be at the main event at WrestleMania. But this year was different because they made it for the title, so it, it you know anything could happen, and it did. You know, I mean, in case anyone hasn't watched it yet, I'm not going to spoil the end, but it was fantastic. Uh, it definitely one of the ways I would have liked it to go. Uh, so getting off of uh, wrestling for a moment, that's why I'm so tired. And you're probably thinking, well, if you're so damn tired, why are you up till one thirty in the morning? Because I've recorded this video or other versions of this video for the last two days um, I don't know why but the laptop before it would record it fine like what I can see right now is a flawless recording there's no there's no glitching in the uh, video I mean the, the audio feeds fine it's the video feed um, I'm I basically look like I'm you know doing it in strobe lighting so um, I, I lost three days worth of material that I've recorded because I've been trying to upload it and do it again and again and again, and I tried to do one yesterday, same problem. I, you know, this this laptop almost went out straight out the window. <sighs> Deep sigh of relief, and we're back. So, Game Boy games. Ah, now that's what I want to talk about. Game Boy games. I don't have a lot, but I have some quite unique ones because I used to. I was very lucky as a kid. I used to get to travel the world uh, with my uh, parents. I went to Hong Kong and uh, America and obviously anyone who plays retro games knows there was a lot of releases for various consoles around the world that never made it to the UK or Europe even for some reason. Uh, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head what they are but I've somehow I've managed to accumulate four copies of The Legend of Zelda for the Super NES. I have a Japanese version, American version and two European versions. One was a one was given to me by one of my uh, friends for when I was a kid. Uh, he sold his Super NES but he said, oh you like Zelda so much, here have my game. Why I don't know, I already have three copies but hey that's another story. Um, but I'm talking specifically about Game Boy games. There was Game Boy games that were released in America and Japan that weren't released over here. There's one called Ninja Boy 2. Um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a really strange game. It's like a role-playing game, but side-scrolling beat-em-up style. When we get around to it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But just to give you a heads up, it's a Japan-only release, but with English translation. So it was being prepared to be marketed to North America and to uh, Europe. But I think they just sort of thought, no, it's too hard. You know, the, the Europeans won't, they won't like it because it's too hard. The Americans will suck at it, so it's going to get bombed. Um, 
you know, so I have that. I'm very lucky. I have that game. Uh, I will do the Super Game Boy uh, through the through the snares. But the problem with the snares, and I think if anyone who follows this channel will remember, in my last video when I was talking about the actual device I used to record some of my stuff, uh, there's a problem with recording the snares where it uh, suffers from frame rate loss. For some reason, the video goes a lot faster than the audio that we're doing. I found that out the hard way. I did two very, very good videos with my friend Will, and uh, it would be useless, useless stuff because the video would never match with what we were, we were speaking about, and the uh, video feed that we recorded ourselves, we could hear it on the TV, and then back through the game, it wasn't matching. Even if we started at the same time, eventually the game would the game would be going, and we'd be catching up. So there was frame rate loss uh, on from the snares. I don't, I don't want to get too technical about it. I don't really know. Even the guys that make the the device, they don't they don't know. Um, it's just one of those things, I guess. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it legit, but I'm going to do it via an emulator. Uh, people will say, well, that's not legit. You know, let me explain. What I mean is. It's illegal. I think this is still right. I think it still counts. If it's illegal to have ROMs or use ROMs for games you don't own, or at least that was the that was the law, like you know, over over ten years ago. You know, I don't know if the law's changed. I don't really keep up with that sort of stuff. If it's changed, and they don't care anymore, great. But if they do still care, I'm only going to do emulator games that I have okay um, certain games I can pick up for for nothing you know eBay it's easy to get um, sometimes it's easy to record them I'm not recording my Sega Mega Drive through the uh, PVR at the moment because uh, I don't have the power cables I have the Mega Drive I have the games but I don't have the power cables so um, the SNES, the Super Game Boy, will be another emulator, another emulation. So it will just be a, a Game Boy emulator with the games I have. Um, I can, I, if I have to, I can prove it to people that I actually have the games that we're going to do. Um, and that's that's basically where we're going to go from there. <sighs> okay, so that's 12 minutes now of me waffling on about what's happening with the channel. So the 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 current RGR championship belt is being retired because I want to make it I want to make a really nice version you know I want to paint it and I want to be a bit creative with it you know uh, something that I can trade with my friends so uh, if if they beat me I mean yeah okay I beat me once but I beat him you know the week after and I beat him at Capcom SNK too <laughs> he was really sore about that because uh, he used to kick my ass just constantly every day uh, every time he played it, I, I would, I would, in the end, I was kind of like, oh, I don't really want to play it now. It was, there was no contest. He was that good. Um, age has gotten to both of us. Uh, we, we had really sore uh, fingers and thumbs after that. That, that sucked. That wasn't fun. <laughs> well, it was fun, but not worth the pain. Uh, <laughs> but this is the kind of thing we do on the channel. We have fun. Um, sorry, I'm rambling again. I'm just, I'm so tired. So I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, anybody who has subscribed, uh, you trust me. I know. I know. I haven't even got any. I know I haven't got more than ten. But you guys make it worth it. It's it is what I'm trying to do. It's just a bit of fun. Uh, I'm just trying to enjoy myself, doing what I love doing best: being creative, entertaining people, and playing video games. Well, who who could ask for more, right? I you know, I don't do sports. You know, uh, I used to, but. Too many injuries, I don't do it anymore. And that's it. So, okay, thank you very much for subscribing. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed already and you're new to the channel, uh, you're probably thinking, whoa, he, you know, this is a lot. Just check out the other stuff, you'll understand. So, the, the subscribe button's here, right down here. Please, 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 please click it. Uh, further down in the description is my Facebook page and Twitter feed. Um, the more I get used to doing this stuff and editing and things, it's going to look so much better. And I'm going to get a better camera because I can't keep doing this with the 1080p webcam. I mean, it's fine for now, but if I really want to do make this go somewhere, I need to get more equipment. But hey, everything takes time. Rome wasn't built in a day.
So thank you very much. That's me. I'm signing off. And I'll catch you on the flip side.